Hi, Blaine here. Install the Pocket FM app by clicking on the link in the description and unlock all seasons of our story rekindled heartache. Yes, of course. You must be worried, but I've been in good hands and I'm feeling much better now, Blaine. No. I wanted to discuss something else. That day at the picnic. Why did you invite the Fuller sisters? Then you drugged me and cornered me in the trap. And then you stabbed Zoe's hand with a brooch so that she'd be blamed for your fall and be thrown in jail. Why did you do all of this, Sophia? What is going on in your head? Are you for real? You think I did all of this? In case you haven't noticed, I'm the one laying on this hospital bed with a head injury, Blaine. But all you can think about is Zoe. Of course. How could I even expect you to care for me? It's always been the same Zoe for you. <laughs> Calm down and take some rest. We'll do this later when you're in the mood to be honest. I'm being honest. But you, are you blind? I hurt my head so bad that I went into a coma. But you're blaming me for doing this to myself. You don't care about anybody but Zoe. I'm just a nobody to you. And why, why don't you think that Zoe could be the one who plotted those things? If you were just a nobody, I wouldn't have been here, Sophia. And about Zoe, the proud woman that she is, she'd never stoop so low over a man. Anyway, I gotta... Ziva interrupted Blaine by barging into Sophia's hospital room. Sophia? Oh, Dr. Dexter, you're here. I better come back later. There's no need. Come on in. Did you bring the magazines I asked you to? What magazines? The ones at your home that you wanted to lend me? You forgot? Oh, God. Blaine, could you please take Ziva to her home so that she can hand you over the magazines I want? Okay. But I don't get off work for another 30 minutes. Not an issue. I can stay here with Sophia until then. Blaine left saying that. Sophia, I can't believe you're giving me a chance to go with Blaine. Alone? I want to hug you so bad. Don't get too excited. I'm not giving you any chance. The moment you lay your hands on my man, I'll come for you. Sophia knew Ziva didn't stand a chance. But she wanted her to know about Blaine and Zoe to make Zoe suffer even more. After half an hour, Blaine and Ziva left for her home. Dr. Dexter, I saw you near my home the other day. You were sleeping in your car. What were you doing here? I was waiting for a friend. She lives in the same neighborhood. She? You were waiting for a woman so early in the morning? Who's she? Maybe she's someone I know. Blaine side-eyed Ziva, and it was her cue to shut her mouth. She didn't want to make Blaine angry. I've heard someone in your family is sick. Who is it? Just a sec, Dr. Dexter. Yes, sis. I'm almost home. I'll reach home on time for your lasagna. Dr. Dexter, my sister has made lasagna, and I'm not bragging, but she's the best cook. Would you care to join us for dinner? Ziva was pretty sure Blaine would turn down her offer. Blaine, on the other hand, wanted to check on Zoe, and it was his chance. Sure. I'm starving. When they reached, Zoe froze as Blaine walked into her front door. But her mother greeted him. Ziva, you didn't tell us you were bringing a guest. Come in, young man. Please have a seat. Good evening, Miss Fuller. I hope I'm not causing any trouble. Mom, this is Dr. Blaine Dexter, and this is my mom, Gloria Fuller. Zoe was still standing in the corner like she had seen a ghost, whereas Gloria was staring at Blaine. The moment she heard his name, 
Her welcoming expression changed. Mom, I know he's good looking, but stop staring at him, please. You are making him feel awkward. Oh, ap apologies. The dinner's ready. Let's eat before the lasagna gets cold. Zoe, why don't you show Dr. Dexter where to wash his hands? Zoe nodded and gestured to Blaine to follow her. When they reached the wash basin, Zoe made sure no one could hear them. Why are you here, Blaine? What do you want? <laughs> to eat the lasagna you made, Zoe. So, what game do you want to play at the dinner table? Do we know each other, or do we not? Lower your voice, and we don't know each other. Now follow me. The four of them sat down to have dinner. Ziva was so excited to have Blaine with her that she was smiling throughout the dinner. But Gloria was distracted the entire time. So, Dr. Dexter, tell me about yourself, about your family. His dad is the Senator Mom, Michael Dexter of Arizona. I see. You come from a wealthy and influential family. How did someone so rich find his way to this poor woman's dining table? Mom, what are you saying? Dr. Dexter's not the kind of person you're thinking. If he cared about who's rich and who's poor... You do not talk back to me. I don't care what kind of person Dr. Dexter is. What I care about is if his family knows he's having dinner with someone less privileged than them. Dr. Dexter, I don't want you around my daughter anymore. Our families are not quite compatible. Miss Fuller, I think you've got it wrong. Ziva and I are just friends, and to be honest, I don't have any feelings for her, and I will never have any. And as for my family, if I ever fall in love with a woman, rich or poor, my family's attitude won't be able to keep me away from her. I won't give up on my woman over my family. <gasps> I'm full. Thanks, Mom. Ziva left the dinner table and went to her room. Zoe got up to get her. No, you finish your dinner, Zoe. But Mom... Zoe looked at her mother's stern face and sat down again. When they were almost done, Ziva came out of her room and handed some magazines to Blaine. These are the magazines Sophia was asking for. Thank you. And thank you, Miss Fuller, for having me. I'm sorry for the trouble. I'll walk you out. No, you will not. You get back to your room right now. Zoe, you can see him out. Both Ziva and Zoe were shocked to see their mom behave like this. Mom! Stop behaving so weirdly! What's wrong with you? Gloria was furious with Ziva. She held her by her hand, pushed her into the bedroom, and locked it from the outside. Mom, what the heck? Let her out! Miss Fuller, it's not worth fighting with your daughter over me. I'll just leave. Mom, you're scaring me. Please let her out. Don't tell me what to do, Zoe. Just see him out. Zoe didn't want to create another scene, so she quickly walked Blaine to his car. Does your mom discriminate against all the rich people? No, I've never seen her like this before. She's just... She's just not behaving like herself tonight. <laughs> so, it's just me. I was not welcome here, I guess. You didn't seem happy to see me either. You show up at my house without any prior notice. That, too, with Ziva. What do you expect? Yeah, I'll stay away from her in the future. Now, go in. It's cold out here. Blaine... About what I said that day. Have you given any thought to the offer? Zoe, this is the last time you're bringing it up. Don't ever ask me about that again. Blaine got into his car, and Zoe went into her home. As soon as she got in, she could hear Ziva's screams. Mom, you let her out and explain to us about your behavior tonight. Why did Gloria behave so rudely with Blaine? Does she know about Blaine and Zoe? What will Ziva do now that her mother has asked Blaine to stay away from her? Hi, Blaine here. Hope you're loving Recon of Heartache. Keep following us as we release new episodes of Recon of Heartache Season 1 on YouTube. If you wish to jump the queue and unlock all seasons of the audio series, you can install the Pocket FM app by clicking on the link in the description. To watch the next episode of Season 1, tap here. And to watch the full Season 1, click on the playlist.